Hi, welcome to another quick video. This video is about the Behringer, let me find the model, DR115 DSP. The manufacturers for this speaker quote 1400 watts. There we are, there, 1400 watts two way PA sound reinforcement speaker. 1400 watts. Really? 1400 watts from a little 250 pound speaker? Mm, I can smell BS. I've been helping Anthony Archibald try and fix one, very difficult over the internet. It seems Behringer don't make the schematics available, so straight away don't buy that speaker if you want it repaired reliably and efficiently. The base is driven from this IRS 20925 FET driver, and they are usually 500 watt drivers. So it's got this driver and two FETs. So straight away you're looking at an output of roughly 500 watts, not 1400. So you've got one chip, one chip and a pair of FETs. Unlike the Mackie 450, this Behringer has a plus and minus 65 volt rail. Now the Mackie 450, SRM 450 version 2, has plus and minus 75 and I could demonstrate over 300 watts RMS. This Behringer has a plus and minus 65 volt rail, not 75. So straight away it's less powerful than the SRM 450 version 2. I'll give Behringer the benefit of the doubt because I haven't got an amp in front of me. Let's assume you can drive the positive half cycle up to that supply. I couldn't manage that on a 450 version 2 Mackie. So plus 65 minus 65. So to find the RMS you take one of the peaks, so we'll take the plus 65, plus 65, multiplied by 0 0.707 to find the RMS. So 65 multiplied by 0 0.707 equals 45.95 RMS. Square that, so times equals 2111. Divided into 4 ohms, 527.96 watts RMS if you can deliver that full voltage rail into the speaker, and I very much doubt you can. So if you think you're buying a 1400 watt speaker driven by a 500 watt chip times 1 and a plus or minus 65 volt rail, you are very much mistaken. It's 527 watts RMS absolute maximum on the best day with the wind behind it. So thank you to Anthony Archibald for giving me the voltages and with the voltages and supply rails and the chip we can work out the RMS power. So it's not 1400 watts just a measly 527. Still way much better than the Electro Voice at quote a thousand watts and theirs turned out to be about 80. So I'm John B just demonstrating more BS from speaker manufacturers. You get what you pay for. Thanks for watching.